Okay guys, this is Donnie from Rocksteady Tuning. Uh, I want to show you how to get set up to uh, get started on an email tune. Uh, hopefully from Rocksteady Tuning, but there are other guys out there. Uh, first thing you want to do is get in your car, plug your access port in. Should already be married. You probably have like a stage 2 map on it. Turn your key on. Turn your headlights off so your battery doesn't die. Um, and first thing we're going to do is go up to the help screen and on the help screen you can go up to about access port and that'll give you your serial number sticker serial number and that's what all the e-tuners need to have to make you a map um, next thing you want to do is go to the gauges screen and right on the gauges screen you got you should already have a few good gauges set up uh, whatever you want to use on your gauges screen that's fine what I'm gonna do is show you how to uh, set up for data logging so you just scroll through your gauges and up at the top there's setup with a little green arrow click that and just scroll around to configure data logging then you're gonna scroll down through the list you're going to use the list that you were given uh, to set up your data log list and all you want to do is click on each of the items that are on the list if you see something extra click on it take the little green mark out of the box so you only want to log what you were asked to log um, and make sure that you have that and no extra stuff because the smaller the list uh, the more information it can log and once you've got everything, once you got to the bottom of the list, you have everything marked, uh, just click the, the small key over here to save it, and it automatically saves it, and you're ready to start data logging. Um, to get a data log, uh, you want to find a, a good spot where you can do a third gear pull, the wide open throttle. Uh, you want to start, you know, somewhere. Uh, 3,000 RPMs or less and you're gonna be in in third gear if you have a five speed or fourth gear if you have a six speed three cruising at 3,000 RPMs just mash the pedal all the way to the floor <clears throat> pull it to red line uh, once you get the red line just let your foot lift your foot off the gas and let the car slow itself down uh, don't go jamming through the gears or anything like that makes the logs a little more difficult to look at um, and the next thing we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and flash a map to the car so I'm gonna go down the tune and you want you want your key to be on but the car not running go to go to the tune screen then change map and then do a reflash. Anytime you're tuning, you want to do an actual reflash. From the reflash screen, your map should open up. You transfer the maps, you know, that, that you get sent uh, from your tuner. You transfer them to the access port using Access Port Manager on your desktop. So we'll go ahead and pick a map here. and we'll flash it. It says a battery charger is recommended. Uh, I also recommend using a battery charger but if you have like a volt meter or something in your car you know that you're you know you've got good voltage you're above 12 volts. Uh, you're probably alright just make sure that your headlights are off anything extra is off that you don't need on and hit the center button to continue now it's going to ask you to connect the green test mode connectors. Now normally you would have to crawl under under your dash right here and connect the green test mode connectors. I have a, a switch wired up on mine. So all I have to do is, is flip the switch. When you flip the switch, it tells you to please wait and it initializes the vehicle. And it tells you do not 
do anything and then it says please disconnect the the green test mode connectors when it's done <clears throat> I already had that map on there that's why I went extremely fast um, yours will probably take a couple minutes once you disconnect green test mode connectors once you get this message it says please disconnect the green test mode connectors click continue and it tells you you can turn the ignition key off if, it, if you do not get the message to turn the ignition key off do not turn the key off you need to start over again you could potentially break your map break your ECU if you turn the key off so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key off the car is off now what I want to do is start the car back up and I do a count to five one two three four five and then you'll be able to start your car right up.